All right, today I wanted to do a training on a wait list with an Excel doc. So I've exported our parameters out of Smartsheet into an Excel document. Um, one of the things I want you to take away is it doesn't matter what program you use. Tomorrow there may be a better one than Smartsheet or Excel. It's just getting one that works. So this is a wait list uh, with all the uh, similar layouts as we had in Smartsheet. Uh, we've got fall, summer, school age, preschool, early preschool, and Todd's in this one, okay? And this is also available um, uh, for you. So I want you to notice first these columns that are yellow. I did that uh, temporarily just so you would leave those alone. There's formulas inside those cells. So if you were to download this document, one of the first things you can do is you can get rid of all of this fictitious data here okay so i just deleted all of those um, make-believe individuals and then let's say you have a spiral notebook or you have your format and you want to convert it over here so let's just do a quick intake on a wait list so today is 2 26 8 uh, excuse me 19 um that's uh, so the first column is for when they jump on the wait list. Second column is status. So uh, again, um, you may create your own uh, your own indicators here on the smart sheet. We're able to color code them there. So uh, here I would say green is really good. Someone on priority, but you might just go, you might just type in priority in there, for example. Uh, let's say we had Tommy Tucker called in to get um, uh, little Tim on our wait list. Tim's birthday is, let's just say uh, his birthday's today, 226, and we're going to go 18. Do you see what just happened? It just changed this and told you that he's one year old. So again, so let me look at the, show you the formulas. Now, if you click on this cell and then you look up here, you'll see this is the formula that is taking his birthday, Tim's birthday, turning it into months. And then here, I've just taken this and said, whatever is in column N here for months, divide that by 12 so it says he's one year old. Let's play with this just for a little bit. Let's say that Tim was born in 2017. Now he's 24 months old and two years. Let's say he was born in 15. He's four years old, okay? And this will change month to month. So will this. So you don't have to continue to update the child's age or you don't have to do what we've all done for many, many years or decades is look at the birth date and figure out how old the kiddo is, okay? So now Tim is is four years old in this case. And so we need to move him from our Todd waiting list up to preschool. So I'm gonna hit Control X for cut. I'm gonna scroll down to preschool and I'm gonna import him right down here in the bottom. And I'm gonna hit Control V for paste. All right, so there's little Tim. And just to clean this up, I'm just gonna delete. This is what you would do once you download this sheet, just delete all that other stuff. I'm leaving a couple up there just for example, okay? And then I'm going to move him up. All right. And what we should do is we should put these parameters here uh, right above all of your wait lists for you. That'll help as you're inputting stuff, okay? And I'm going to insert one more line above that. This is going to be your sheet to um, manipulate and change as you like. All right, so we've got, uh, we're, we're on the phone with Tommy Tucker. We've got Tim in there. We've got his birth date. We explain the formulas. Last thing, stay out of these boxes. Don't delete these boxes. Don't, if you jump around in different cells, it'll goof them up. All right. Um, all right. Uh, Tim wants to start, doesn't need to start yet. I was looking for something for, um, uh, April 1st, so we're going to put 4-1-19 in here. That's when he wants on the wait list. 
and he, dad's needing uh, Monday through Friday. Status, I'm just going to put waiting. Maybe you're just going to put W. Um, in Smartsheet, we have a little drop down, so it's a little bit easier. Remember, Smartsheet is just Excel, you know, super smart. Uh, last contact, I don't need to put that down there because I just got him on the wait list today. Um, I asked uh, Tommy, I said, hey, do you need to know our rates? He goes, no, I've got that uh, that assistance thing. I go, yes, yeah, CCAP, no problem. And I'm just going to make that note there. I got his phone number. And um, he is Tommy at, uh, at yahoo.com. Get, uh, get his email address. Get his email address. Okay. And you're done. Now, Tommy, uh, Tim is on your waiting list. Now you can work to manipulate and so forth. Let me mention a couple quick things. The email is so important. I'll tell you why. Because when we update our emails, our wait list, you can copy all of those. And then let me just open up a, uh, hang with me here for a second. I'm going to show you how you uh, do this. So you're going to compose an email. And I'm going to send this to myself right now. I'm fruit of kids. Okay. So this is a scenario where you're sending out an email to update all of your uh, parents on a wait list. Okay. And you're going to blind carbon copy all of the people on the wait list. So these are all fictitious emails. Okay. And then you're going to come in here and you're going to go um, your center. So my center. Or I might go ABC Child Care. Waiting list. Update. And then put in a nice um, email in here. Just letting them know hey, we're just reaching out to our families to see if you're letting you know you're still on our wait list. And this is an opportunity for you to update your status with us. If you found other care, that's wonderful. Please reply and let us know. We could take you off our wait list. If you're still needing care, let us know that also. Definitely reply to this email and let us know that you're still needing care. If your needs have changed, uh, please respond with that so we can update you on our wait list. So this is a great way to do that. Now I've just sent it out to five people. I can hit send and it's done. It saves me those phone calls. Just type in a nice personal email here for them. And uh, th that's why it's so important to capture these emails here on your wait list. All right. Well, there's a simple intro to Excel wait list. Uh, it's available. I'm sure you have a uh, your ways of contacting me <laughs> and uh, we'll get this wait list to you so that you can begin utilizing this and uh, uh, converting your spiral notebook or whatever process you have right now over to this. Uh, one of the, again, one of the coolest things about this wait list is these uh, are these formulas in here. Uh, speaking of formulas, um, I'm going to take the last couple minutes here and just show you what to do if you goof up these formulas because I can see here that this one has is, is been deleted. So if I put uh, uh, Tina in here and I put her birth date of 1116, nothing happens, right? So what I would need to do in that case, what I'll do, make it even simpler, just one cut and paste. I'm going to copy this whole cell, control C for copy, and I'm going to paste it right here. And you're done click outside of that so what what happened is this formula this 1429 I'm not a programmer so I don't know why that's in there the 119 you can ignore that um, again I'm copying this formula here and putting it in a cell that yeah see <laughs> I'm not an expert let's leave it at that uh, just copy that line paste it if if one of these formulas gets scoofed up copy a formula that works paste it where one didn't work so hopefully that was a good intro to this wait list uh, hope you like it let me know have a great day take care